Welcome back to AM Buffalo. So it's official. Ben and I are hanging our kites. We have retired. <laughs> we gave it a shot. <laughs> we gave it our all, but we have retired. But not this weekend, September 17th. Mm -hmm. Ben, give everybody the information again yep. on the event. Kids and Kites. Yep, it's the 24th annual Kids and Kites at Gratwick Riverside Park in North Tonawanda, uh, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. The first 500 youth get a free kite, free t-shirt, and a free hot dog lunch thanks to some great partners. Yes, and we'll talk about those partners in a second, but if you can see the pavilion right behind us, give us some logistics. How do folks find you? How do they get to you? Absolutely, if they come in the River Road and Whitmer entrance uh, into the park, uh, that we're gonna have parking right on site. Uh, we'll have people directing parking, uh, and then we'll direct them to the registration area as well. We'll have a main tent full of prizes, and it'll be hard to miss. Yeah, it'll be and, great flight. And you'll have some clues. You'll have some yep. kites flying in the air, some beautiful kites flying in the air. Um, and then, so talk a little bit more. I, I know you wanted to talk about some sponsors as far as food and all of that as well. Yes, absolutely. So we get uh, we get all of the food donated. Uh, Salem's Hot Dogs, we get Pelicano's Marketplace does the chips. Uh, Wendy's, uh, Mighty Taco, Texas Roadhouse give coupons for each kid that's going to take something away mm -hmm. and then Wegmans does all the condiments and uh, free juice boxes for the, for the kids so and we have to talk about that because community is so important right yes um, and when you say youth am I included in that in that bin Jimmy? Well, we can you have, you have kids I've heard, so <laughs> I like the bring, stutter I like the can, stutter in we that. Can, <laughs> of course bring we uh, we aim for anybody under 18 but we yes. can we can uh, bring your kids bring your kids there's kites available Yes. All right. And is there anything else you want people to know about this event? Because this is a very, very, very important event. This yeah, it's a great, it's just a great event for youth and families and for parents to come and teach their kids. But you know, this wouldn't, this event wouldn't happen without great volunteers from yep. the Department of Social Services. And it wouldn't happen without so many sponsors uh, that, you know, you can see, find our flyer on facebook.com. Uh, if you search 24th annual Kids and Kites, yep. and uh, you'll see our whole list of sponsors there that do such great work for us yeah and as you all saw with Aaron the weather is going to be beautiful the breeze off of the water is amazing bring your lawn chairs let the kids fly their kites eat great food mm -hmm. thank you so much and Emily again you need to come out here oh Mercedes that is a given for sure oh my goodness when I was a kid I absolutely loved flying kites how about you I'm guessing that's a yes. <laughs> I retire. <laughs> she says she's changed her mind since this show. Well, you know what? It's okay because what it is is our kids can run for days. They love absolutely running, so they can take those kites for a fly, right? Catch a little bit of wind, have a little fun, and what an amazing event. So many free things. I mean, like, who wouldn't miss out on that? That's amazing. So thank you so much to Mercedes, of course, for being live in the field. Thank you so much, of course, to all of our guests. What a great show we had today.